Hi folks, I would like to discuss with you the demise of Western civilization. Hmm? Let me give you a small example. For this small example, let us travel to the land down under, Australia, Walsam with Matilda. In one school they held a general assembly. And they told the 12 year old boys, 7th graders, to stand up. So they stood up. And what they had to do when they stood up was to apologize. Gee, what did these boys do that they had to apologize for? Well, it was the circumstances of their birth. That's why they had to apologize. Because they were born male. And in Western civilization, and is goose stepping towards feminizing the culture, that is a tragedy, a travesty. <laughs> that that you have males in the culture. So you have to apologize for that. And that's what those little boys had to do. You see what's taking place, folks? All throughout the West, the culture, they're feminizing the culture. Because being a guy is toxic. Being a guy, there's something wrong with it, so you have to apologize. Never mind the fact that if you're a guy or if you're a girl, both genders should celebrate those genders and not criticize the other for being within that gender because they both have value, they both have worth, but not in the West. Nope. Guys, masculinity. Now let's take Communist China. They realize that some of their young people, guys, were getting just a little bit too feminine. So what did the Kami government do? They established a program to where masculinity will be taught to young boys. Do not be ashamed of being born a guy. You need to be a guy, not any guy, but a masculine guy. In a bizarre suggestion, China's education policy has been updated to include courses to make boys more manly. Last week, the Chinese Education Ministry introduced a note titled The Proposal to Prevent the Feminization of Male Adolescents. The so-called feminization of boys has apparently been a concern for the communist regime for some time and it has signaled before that most male role models in the country are not what it considers ideal, that is, strong and athletic like army heroes. That's, that's what's taking place in China. But what's the value in that? The value in that, let's examine that with Tucker Carlson. The feminization of Chinese boys would, quote, inevitably endanger the survival and development of the Chinese nation. In January, China's government acted on this recommendation. The Education Ministry of China released a notice entitled Proposal to Prevent the Feminization of Male Adolescents. The goal was to, quote, cultivate students' masculinity. So how are we responding to this? Well, at the White House yesterday, Joe Biden addressed it effectively. What's the American military's response? Here's what Joe Biden said. Some of it's relatively uh, straightforward work, where we're making good progress, designing body armor that fits women properly, tailoring combat uniforms for women, creating maternity flight suits, updating, uh, updating requirements for their hairstyles. And some of it is going to take an, uh, you know, an, an intensity of purpose and mission to really change the culture and habits that cause women to leave the military. So we've got new hairstyles and maternity flight suits. Pregnant women are going to fight our wars. It's a mockery of the U.S. military. While China's military becomes more masculine as it's assembled the world's largest navy, our military needs to become, as Joe Biden says, more feminine, whatever feminine means anymore, since men and women no longer exist. The bottom line is it's out of control, and the Pentagon's going along with this. Again, this is a mockery of the U.S. military and its core mission, which is winning wars. See, that's the value. The value in feminizing the culture is to decrease its military effectiveness. Now let's take for example in the future there's a confrontation between a commie Chinese unit and an American unit, a feminized unit of American feminized men. All the resources, equipment, everything being equal except for the fact that the commies are masculine and the people in the West are feminine. Who do you think is going to come out victorious in that confrontation? 
The commies know. The people in the West don't care because the people in the West feel that Western civilization in, unto itself is wrong for all the evil, made up evils, hallucinated evils, that they have transpired upon the planet by toxic masculine men in the West. So, you need to be suppressed. You know what's the best part about all this? And I'm going to be selfish. In my advanced stage, I'm on my way out. This class should take place just about after I'm gone from this, gone from this planet. You will have to reap the results of feminizing the West. Not me. I'm out of here in a couple of years. <laughs> we'll see you. Incidentally, there's no light at the end of this tunnel. <laughs> we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. <laughs> see you. Ha 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 ha!